my Muslim sisters anymore. Uh, we can give you a chance. Yes, sister, you can ask the question. Assalamu alaikum. The question is not really related to your topic, but one of the sisters here would like you to elaborate on this. We feel that by sending our children to secular schools, they are losing their Islamic values. However, there are many other sisters who feel it's fine to send them to secular schools as long as they are taught Islam at home. Please comment. The sisters pose the question. I do agree it's out of the topic. And the chairperson gave her a chance, so I have to answer. She said that, is it right if we send our children to secular schools and teach Islam at home? Sister, secular by definition means nothing to do with God. If you send your children to secular schools, secular school nothing to do with God, but I know what you meant, you meant for non-Islamic schools, run by Christian missionaries and others. Secular school by definition means nothing to do with God. So if you send to a school with nothing to do with God, those are atheists, there'll be a problem. They will teach, there's no God, you'll teach at home, there is God, there'll be conflict. The child will have a problem. Similarly, if you send to other schools which teach wrong things, who teach to worship other besides God. So there they worship Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, every day in the morning. And you come and say that worshiping Jesus Christ is shirk. So the child will get confused. You know what we are doing? It is we who are creating problems in the children. We are to blame. It is the duty of the parents to give an atmosphere which is the right atmosphere. It is like you're tying your children, tying the hand and the leg, putting them in the swimming pool and say, swim. How will you swim? So sister, my advice is, we do require the worldly knowledge, it's important. The first guidance of our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran to humankind in Surah Iqra, chapter 96, verse number 1, is Iqra, is to read, is to educate. A blood prophet said, it is obligated on every Muslim man and woman to acquire knowledge. So knowledge is a must, both knowledge religious as well as the other worldly knowledge, both is important, sister. But be careful while running after the other worldly knowledge, religious knowledge should not go behind, both should be there. So best is put your children in schools which do not conflict with the commandment of the Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the best is schools which teach both. Imagine you go to school and they are taught about Darwin's theory, we have been created from monkeys, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we have been created from Adam and Eve. Now the child gets confused. How many confusions will you remove? The best is Islamic schools, unfortunately, unfortunately, there are very few Islamic schools, but Alhamdulillah, Summa Alhamdulillah, now throughout the world, including India, there are many Islamic schools springing up. Some of good quality, some medium quality, some lower quality. What we should do is that we should support those people who are opening such schools. And Alhamdulillah, even our Islamic Research Foundation, IRF Educational Trust, has started a school three years back in Bombay by the name of Islamic International School. And we are striving so that we can give to our children what we didn't get. What we lacked in our childhood. We have a school we have started, inshallah, besides having the formal education. I don't call it secular. Mathematics is not secular. Science is not secular. I call it formal education because science is the Islamic subject, according to me. Mathematics is Islamic subject. The great mathematicians are Muslims. The great scientists are Muslims. So I don't call science as a secular subject. I call it for the non-Muslim formal education, Islamically, it's an Islamic subject, but should be taught in the correct perspective, scientific facts, not hypotheses and theories like Darwin's theories, etc. So sister, it is important that we give our children the right atmosphere and see to it that they get the right education, that's the best. If you try and say that they go to a school which teaches wrong things and then come home and teach the right things about the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the religion, sister, you are playing with fire. I would advise you to put in an Islamic school. Hope that's